In the course of this week, we have been studying the phonetics of human languages. We studied consonants, vowels, stress, uh, prosody, and now we're going to study tone. So when we looked at prosody, we looked at pitch and how pitch can change how you interpret a sentence. However, there are languages that go further than that, and they use pitch to indicate changes in the meanings of words. This is called tone. And uh, Mandarin Chinese is an example of such a language. Here we have four words. Ma, 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 ma. Or the way a native speaker would pronounce them. Ma, 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 ma. Mm -hmm. So they are all different words. They mean mother, hemp, horse, and scold. They have the same consonants, the same vowels, but the pitch changes as they are as the word is said. For example, in the first word, the tone starts the pitch, I'm sorry, starts high and then it continues high throughout its trajectory. Let's say for example that 5 is the highest pitch that we hear and 1 is the lowest pitch that we hear. Um, so the first one starts high and goes high all the way. Ma. The second one starts somewhere in the middle at around three and then goes all the way up to five or high. Ma. The third tone has a little dip. So you start somewhere around two, low, and then go all the way low and then go high or to four. Ma. And then on the fourth tone, the, the, the falling tone, you start fairly high and then go all the way down to one. Ma. 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 Mm -hmm. Four tones. So again, this uh, way of using pitch, where you use it to indicate changes in meanings of words, is called tone. Um, some tones are level in that their pitch remains level throughout the duration of the word. And there are tones that are called contour tones, where you start somewhere and you end somewhere else. In this example, tones two, three, and four are contour tones. For example, tone four starts at high and ends at low. So it has a contour in its trajectory. One last time. Ma, 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 ma. So how do we write this in the International Phonetic Alphabet? There is a system here, as you can see with this, these little bars here, for the level tones, and you can combine them to make contour tones. So for example, the high tone, ma, is just the consonant, the vowel, and then a bar to indicate that it's the highest part of the tonal range. Um, the rising. It has a bar that starts in the middle and then goes all the way up to indicate the contour, ma. The dipping starts low, goes even lower, and then goes all, almost all the way up to indicate its rise, ma. And then the falling tone starts high and ends all the way down, ma. So these are the IPA symbols for these tones in Mandarin Chinese. Some researchers use a system that has numbers. So for example, five indicates the highest part of the pitch range, ma. Three is the middle, ma. And something like five one goes from the highest point to the lowest point, ma. So even though IPA has these, some researchers also use the number system. So you might think that this is very different from how pitch is used in English. But actually, there are many tone languages in the world. Up to 40% of the world's languages are tonal. There's many tone languages in Mexico and Central America. And as a matter of fact, I did my doctoral dissertation on, on tone, and it's a topic that I love. And I did it, and I worked with a language in Mexico that was tonal. There's tones in the languages from the Amazon. There's tones in Africa. And there's tones in Southeast Asia, Vietnamese and Thai are tonal languages, for example. And we're going to look at an example from Thai. And I have a little challenge for you. I want you to, uh, I'm going to play 
something for you and then I want you to go to that URL. It's going to show you a video of someone saying five words in Thai. These five words. I want you to grab a piece of paper and draw something like this, like a little chart that has the numbers five for the highest pitch and one for the lowest pitch. And I want you to try to draw the pitch of each of these words. They each have a different tone. So if you hear something that is high, high, you can whoop, draw a line here. If you hear something that is mid, mid, you can whoop, draw a line like this. I'm going to play you the words. My, 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 my. Those are all different words in Thai. So I want you to pause the video, go to this uh, other video here to so you can hear the words again and again, and try to draw the trajectories of those five tones in Thai. Please pause the video. Welcome back. How did it go? Let's look at the trajectories. This is what those tones look like in Thai. So we have five words, mile, new, not, wood, and no. The first one has a mid tone. As you can see, it's uh, fairly level at number three. Uh, the second word has a low tone here. It's orange where it starts low and then goes even lower. The third word, C, has a falling tone that starts high and then it dips all the way down. The fourth word starts somewhere in the middle and then goes really high. And then the fifth word starts low and then rises all the way up. So let's hear them. My. 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 Mm -hmm. Those are the five tones in Thai. Um, and as you can see, their trajectories are a little bit more complex than those in Mandarin Chinese. How do we write them? Again, with the IPA system that we have. The mid tone has a stick in the middle, so it's N A and this one here. The low tone can have either just the low or the, uh, the trajectory from two to one. The falling all the way down. The high tone, either an indication that it's up or that it goes from, from four to five. And the rising goes from one to five. Let me show you what these words sound like. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. The tones in Thai. Na. So in many languages of the world, in 40% of the languages of the world, pitch is used not only for prosody, but to distinguish between words, to distinguish the meaning of words. This is called tone. We describe tone by the relative pitch, whether the pitch is high, mid, or low, and by their trajectories, whether they are level or contours. The IPA has a way to describe tone, but also many researchers use numbers, which you might see in literature about tonal language.